good morning welcome to the channel welcome to another little van life update do you know what i should really start a youtube channel called the unluckiest man in the world because every time i do something mountain biking uh van life in uh, even supporting in some ways there's always something breaks or something goes wrong so i'm having a slight issue with pepper again these are the joys of van life these are the issues that you're going to get when you buy a second hand van anyway I'll make this really quick because I'm off to a place in Putsy to uh, have a chat with them and see if they can have a look at little pepois. Recently on a subscriber ride to the Peak District on the motorway I just lost complete power. There was no power, put the foot down, revs would go up. I couldn't even get to 40 miles an hour on the motorway so I dropped it down a gear into fourth, nothing, dropped it down to third. Uh, the van just vibrated like is that is that a fuel line that's blocked or a fuel pump or something obviously i'm not that technically minded but the facebook group have said it might be the double flywheel that's gone <laughs> shabba well if that's the case then it's clutch and that as well which i'm hearing horror stories of it being three thousand pounds ish for the both fitting whether that's true i don't know we're going to find out today uh also had a little bit of an issue when i got to the bottom of the hill the ABS was like, brrr, I could feel it through the pedal vibrating massively. Then set off going up the hill and I heard a rattling sound like, <laughs> I'm worried ladies and gentlemen. I am worried that this van is gonna absolutely cripple me. I've spent nearly every penny I've got already on getting things done, fixed and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm worried. It's easy for me to go on the negative side and say, well, is this the end? Am I going to have to get rid of the van? Because I just literally don't have £3,000 to get this fixed. But who knows? It might be a sensor. It might be this. It might be that. It might be the ABS is knackered. It could be something. So I'm hoping they're going to get it on a sensor. I'm hoping this garage are going to be honest with me rather than saying, oh, it's a 100 quid sensor that's gone. Or, you know, we can tell this lad he needs a flywheel. Get three bags out of him. £3,000 if you're not from Yorkshire. So we're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to find out what they think it might be. And I'll let you know when I know. Christ. I have to get a bloody loan. Fucking hell. Right, well I've spoke to the guy in there, and it doesn't sound too good. Um, I said, he said, have you had anything done since you came to speak to me last time? I says, well, it's had the remap done. He went, for fuck's sake. He says, why have you had that done? I says, I, I didn't have it done, I bought that with the van. He said, why do people F around with these vans and mess them up? He said, if it's been remapped and messed around with the brain, the, the electrical system of it, I'm not gonna know, uh, what's, I can't fix it. He said, because you told me you've had this issue on the motorway which has gone into limp mode, but there's no lights coming on your dashboard. So he says, we're going to have to get it in the air, get this thing out with the error codes and all this sort of stuff. But he says, you might have bought a clanger here. He says, people should leave the vans as they are. It messes them up and it makes things difficult down the line because it makes it more difficult. Anyway, that's what he's told me, but it's booked in for the 26th of this month. He says, I'm not going to advise you whether you should be driving it or not. He says, I'm not having that on my head, which is understandable. Fucking hell, what have I bought? I should have kept the Sportage. That was a brilliant vehicle. I had top of the range Sportage. Never had any issues with it at all. I mean, I love this van. Absolutely love it. But if it's going to be a never ending thing of me spending money and money and money, I just I don't have it. I don't earn enough to be able to keep chucking money at it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's the update. 